Hi, my name is Jo. I'm French. I'm currently based in the Blue Mountain in Australia uh, since the past six months, um, so during the coronavirus. Otherwise, I'm based in Vietnam since the past 15 years. Focusing more on um, permaculture uh, training, um, practicing Reiki, and I started the nonviolence communication program. S especially since the past year, I really um, felt the connection between my menstruation and the moon. When will come the full moon and my cycle? I'm really curious about um, uh, Alexa, where is my period? Because there is a whole dimension about what is going on during the cycle, not only during um, the period. Let's see for the next 28 days. When did you have a shift in the challenge that changed everything you had known about your cycle? Mm. Uh, when I realized that on my ovulation, I was not always um, full on to do things. And actually was maybe a period of time where I, I wanted to be connected much more with myself and what I need. Mm -hmm. So this was a re realization. Um, Yeah, I would say that one was a big one. Yeah. And what surprised you most about your phases and yourself in those phases? How different I can, I can feel myself and I can experiment life and I can see also out there how it is and it really varies according to the the cycle moment, how actually this really transform my vision and my uh, understanding of, of my surrounding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And what age do you wish you had done this challenge? Oh, from the beginning. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say, yeah, from 13, 14. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe, or maybe a bit, maybe sixteen, seventeen. Just, um, just to have like a few years to know about my cycle and and uh, yeah, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, maybe around that time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And when you first started this challenge, you had a why for doing it. And one of the reasons was you wanted to form a habit of listening within. And do you think you fulfilled this? Mm, yes. Yes. The fact that we, um, we, we wanted to send a video every day or almost every day, um, there was always this little reminder about, oh, actually, how do I feel? Because right now, because tonight I will send a video about that. How do I feel right now? So it was nice to come back to, to, to myself regularly during the, the challenge. Mm -hmm. And so it definitely uh, reached the goal uh, to, yeah, to be to be more aware. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do you feel closer to your intuition now? Uh, yes, absolutely. My intuition, but I also, I'm also more careful because I also know that what I feel, maybe even my, maybe my emotion could be very strong or my intuition, I don't know if it will be my intuition, but what I feel will be in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But I'm also more careful because I'm, 
I, I'm also aware that ah oh, maybe this is my where I be, yeah this is where um, am I on the on the cycle so maybe this is the reason why I feel that so maybe what I think is my intuition yeah let's discuss with that mm -hmm. so yes it's it's uh, giving a bit more space to the intuition and not jump into that. Mm -hmm. But also allowing myself to feel okay. Oh, maybe it's my my uh, my cycle. Huh? So mm -hmm. let's observe. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you have any final thoughts or feelings about this overall challenge that you wish to share? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I. I really wish that all the women could do that, but also, also men that could also uh, be part of this process huh? mm -hmm. and, uh, and join huh? that challenge in some way that they can also understand better what is going on and because it's also for their benefit. If they understand better, then they can also know how to dance better around this mm -hmm. and have a better relationship yeah. with their partner. This is the Alexa, where is my period 28 day challenge.